wind on that side. I don't, you can't do that with a four and a half rig, can you? What? Make it swing around that fast just by pushing the uh, bottom boom across to windward. Not that fast, it responded really quickly there. Yeah, no, get me a nice shape, man. Is that a hard pull? It is now. I, I assume in a junk rig, raising it, there is inherently more friction anyway, isn't there? Well, there's more weight. Well, you, there's more weight, but there's also the more contact with the mast. I mean, look at the contact with the mast compared to raising a sail with little cringles running in a metal groove. Yeah. So, you, you know, inherently, you've got more friction. Could you get more purchase you, on that? I've already got four on there. <laughs> <laughs> and the bottom rail, mm -hmm. the bottom boom, mm -hmm. is from where? This is a stair rod from Juicens, as is the yard at the top. And the ones in between are just battens. The, there is thin, battens. thin uh, wooden battens which I split, put one either side, which is what you've got at the top. And, and then what I've done is I've added on the pea sticks, which were three pounds for a bunch of ten. Because because it wasn't stiff enough, is that it the problem? The problem is when you get into a real wind, what happens is that it bends the wrong way Yeah. at the top. And obviously the more you reef, suddenly you find that your top panels, which in a light wind you want to be nice and bendy, but in a strong wind, they're the ones you're relying on. You want them to be strong and suddenly you find you need some stiffer buttons. And in fact, the mo more modern junks would actually, each of the panels would be shaped to be, have belly in them, so we actually see like quilt to scent. Um, and that's supposed to be more efficient for windward. Poly tarp. 12 quid. 12 quid poly tarp. Going very nicely. Can I get you to put in two reefs? Yep. So what do you have to do? Tell me tell me what you're gonna do to put in two reefs. There's two ropes you have to faff with. One is the what they call the yard parrel, which is holding the the holding the yard right up close to the mast. Right, with that's the, the one with the four part. Oh no, I see. No, that little blue one. The little blue okay. one. Okay. A, a yard parrel. It's called the yard parrel. Okay. And, and in course, Chinese it's called what? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to put harden up the uh, the lazy jacks because that's going to hold the sail we've got. Okay, done. yeah, take some tension on the lazy jacks, right? And then I'll basically just I let go of the yard parrel and I just get one. Right, so there's, there's two. two, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, so now, now how I do you get tension back into that sail? So what I do is I put in pull back up. A okay, yeah. Bit. So I'm pulling back up a little bit. Yeah. Now what you would have on um, most bigger sails have a downpour which just gives it a bit of tension which I've got here. So do you don't need to, uh, any way to clamp these two together? They, no, they'll just rest there? They'll just rest there and if I fiddle with this which has got cork, I'm pulling in the wrong line. But if I sort that out, you'll see that she's now... So all the tension then comes on the top one somehow. I don't understand how that happens. No, I don't either. Because the weight's in the lazy jack. You can see it does give increased twist. But we are going downwind now and I'm just about to put two pounds in, which you wouldn't be able to do on most but No, that's true. Look, we've got any wind. It's enough. Right. Pull it in. If I pull it in, we'll come back. Oh, <laughs> oh,
function over form. What's the function rather than what's aesthetic first? <laughs> 